Hello, today I want to do a very focused video on how to create a mind map on the Margin Notes app. So if you open the app, you have various sections, the document section, the study section, and a review section. Going to the study section, you can click on new and create a new mind map. Then you are prompt to import documents because on margin note you will create mind maps based on a document, not just on your ideas or a document somewhere else. You can have the documents side by side on the app. So I chose the option to import a web page. I think it's very cool. Maybe you don't have a PDF about it, but you have information on the internet and that will be converted to a PDF for you to open it in margin note. As I add pages, there is a square in the mind map with the title of the page, but it's very long and I will not use it. So now I have the documents that I want and you can see them in a tab form to the right. To the left is the future mind map, which the starting squares or text boxes of the titles of the documents that I have. As I said before, I'm going to delete them because they are very bad titles. You select them and there is a trash can. Now here we are in the first page that the title is data formats. And I'm going to show you how to create the first text box or square or node of your mind map. You double tap and this square appears. If you have the Apple Pencil, you can use Scribble and it will be converted into text. Or tap twice and use the keyboard. which is the same result. In this way, when you type it or write it, you get a plain white text box. But you can also select the text in the PDF, hold and press and drag it to the left and you have a square, a text box, a node in the mind map and it has a little bit of color by default. I'm going to keep the first one that I did because I like it when I choose another color it's fully colored and not just the top part. That's just, that's just my choice, but I think it's the same either way. The advantage of doing it extracting is that it's faster. You don't have to type, you don't have to write. You just select and drag, select and drag. And I think this is the biggest advantage of this application. Now, after reading a little bit, I decided that the next main idea for the mind map is this phrase. So I selected it, press and hold, drag and drop to the left, and there it is. I keep reading and I decide the next text box or the next node in the mind map. Common formats, I select, press and hold, drag and drop to the left, and there it is. So one technique is to get all your nodes first and then arrange the position, or you could extract them and arrange them as you go. So now that I have the information I want to work with, I can hide the PDF section of the app and work with more space. And to relate them, to link these squares, I drag it and bring it inside the square that I want it to be related. And when you let go of the square, it's automatically connected. Here, it's up to you how you want to make your mind map. But in this case, how I see the information is that these three formats are in the same category. So they are all children of the box that says common formats. I keep reading the last paragraph to see what else I can add. And here, everyone can have their own style for mind maps. But I, what I like to do is to make them as concise as possible. So here I'm doing like concepts 
in each box or maybe a sentence, but you could do a paragraph in each box. It's up to you. The important thing in this app is that you will link them, you will relate them, you will make a connection between the two concepts or the two sentences, the two paragraphs, and it's very easy and it looks elegant. So I've decided readability. Readability is another concept and it goes like in the same hierarchy as the formats. And instead of extracting from the text, I'm going to put it in my own words. How can a data be readable? Readable for a computer or readable for a human? And these two boxes will be children of readability. So I drag and let go. And I think this is it for the mind map that I did. It's simple, but it really extracted the most important information for me. It was fast because I didn't type everything, just some of it. And as you add more notes, the lines will adjust automatically. Now I would like to do a comparison with a mind map that I drew just using the Apple Pencil and a note taking application. It also works for note taking. It helped me learn, but I'm sure I took longer than if I had used Marginote and it doesn't look as pretty, it's not ready to present in a professional manner. Going back to this, you can see the difference right away. And the learning experience is the same. If you wanted to draw here, you can also annotate. But the problem is that as you draw, but maybe then you add more notes, the drawing will stay in the same place. So it's not that flexible. For example, there, the circle is no longer where I wanted it to be. Now, if you wanted to export this in a PDF format, you can use this button, choose export in PDF format. And in this case, I just want to export the mind map. There are other options more advanced. And this is what you have. And you can send it wherever you want, by email, by a cloud service. And I'm going to save it in GoodNotes. So I'm keeping a compilation of all my mind maps related to this topic. And there it is. I really like it and I hope you learn to use it. Just FYI, I am using the trial version of Margin Note, but it does have a price to be able to use it like this. I think it's worth it, but there are also many other tools to make mind maps. So I hope you liked it. I hope it was useful and thank you for watching.